This video is sponsored by Scentbird. More on that later. Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. <laughs> Today, uh, you know TikTok POVs. This is not news. But I have to, like, I have been seeing this boy, this man on you know, TikTok highlight accounts like fave TikToks 420. This kid is a master of the point of view. Whose point of view? <laughs> You'll find out. His name is Calvin Reef, and he is famous for making <laughs> uh, TikTok POVs that are way too intense. <laughs> he's famous for making TikTok POVs where he's crying, where extremely, you know, uh, traumatic events are being described. <laughs> That's kind of the rule. That's the rule with these things. I mean, no ill will will to this kid. I did look it up. He is 21 years old, I think, um, or at least he is at least 21. And I think he's married. I don't know. <laughs> you think he looks 14. So I did want to make sure that I was not bullying a child before I like lightly goof on his videos. And it is, it is light goofing because that's what we do here. Okay. But all you need to know before we jump into this is absolutely nothing. This man speaks for his acting speaks for itself. I'm certain somebody's talked about this guy before. I'm going to show you the one that I just watched that was like, okay, I have to make a video about this guy. This is a robbery. Give me everything. I can't. What? I can't. I will blow your head off. I can't. I said, give me everything. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> she was my everything. <laughs> oh my god. The robber puts down his gun and he goes, damn, bro, my bad. <laughs> He's like, shit, I didn't know, I didn't know how bad your your breakup was, my guy. I take it back. You can keep whatever you have left that's sad as hell <laughs> and then of course it cuts back to him and he's crying because he i i don't know if he's crying on command i don't know if he's using like the little drops you know he's got an onion on standby i don't know what technique this guy is using but he hits he is always hitting does he have heterochromia no his eyes are the same color i thought one was slightly different if anybody ever gets into trouble with a robber. I know everybody was talking about Detroit Urban Survival a while back. That stuff doesn't work. What works is uh, <laughs> pleading with the robber that you have nothing left because she was your everything and she's gone. <laughs> wow. These TikToks are already making me emotional. But you know what makes me happy? Smelling good with today's sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that makes it easy to discover new perfumes and colognes and have them delivered right to your door. Each month, you can try out a brand new fragrance for just $17, but the subscription is flexible, so you can skip a month if you want, or you can even go up to two to three fragrances a month. Basically, you'll take a short quiz and Scentbird will suggest scents that are right for you. It's a great way to begin or deepen your knowledge of fragrances and a great way to get started with your fragrance collection. This month, I got a lot of fresh and floral fragrances that remind me of being in a garden or walking through an apple orchard. We've got Bell from Toka. We've got Stem. We've got Honeysuckle Dream. And last but not least, this one's called Get A Room. But there are over 600 designer brands to choose from, like Prada, Gucci, and Versace, as well as indie brands like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. Click the link in the description and use my promo code to get 55% off your first fragrance. That is about $8 for your first month. And start smelling good. Thanks to Simpert for sponsoring this video. Now I wanna give a little bit of a content warning because I don't know if I'm gonna watch any of these in this video, but our friend Calvin does get into some pretty dark topics that I do not think he should be getting into, uh, like, like POVs about domestic violence and about self-harm and stuff. And the reason I don't think he should be getting into them is because I think it's kind of a, his shit is kind of a joke, right? Like, I don't understand. I like it's, it seems insensitive to, to do. And it, like, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. I don't like, look, I'm not here to decide whether or not he should be doing it, but it makes me uncomfortable and it will probably make you uncomfortable as well. Uh, so unless I really feel like I need, to, like I have to, I'm probably not going to include these. <laughs> is she a nun? Oh, wait. Is that his girl costume? So a lot of his TikToks are captioned, this will make you cry, this will make you cry, this will make you cry. Okay, so this next POV that's gonna make us cry is POV the loner. He never talks to anyone. You coming to the party? I would love to. Jokes, you're not invited. Aww. Oh, so he's not a loner by choice. He's a loner because people make fun of him. Also, his hair always looks like he just got out of the shower. <laughs> so uh, maybe he did. I don't know. Hey, hi. 
Sorry, I'm not talking to you. It's all right. <laughs> you don't have to say any. Okay. Hey, mom, could you help? Ask your brother. Wait, so, okay, so, so the loner, literally uh, no one in his life. This is like a simple plan song levels of emo where like everywhere you look, everything is wrong. Teacher, who do you love? What? Calvin? Wait, what kind of question is that? Oh, and this is in first person too. His name's Calvin. I don't love anyone. Aw, no one loves me. Aw, that's not true, Calvin. We love you. Praying? Aw. Aw. That's pretty sad. Um... And that made Calvin cry. That made me cry. You can't see my tears right now, but that's like a, that's post-production. I'm bawling <laughs> right, right now. One of my favorite things about this one is the background music. It just does not fit to me. <laughs> it just this does not fit at all. The song contents make sense, but I do not see Calvin as a young Kevin Gates, <laughs> like talking about his life and the struggle, you know? It just doesn't hit the same, but the, what matters is that that's how Calvin sees himself. Let me just show you a picture of Kevin Gates. Okay, so this is Kevin Gates and this is Calvin. Corporate wants you to find the difference between these two pictures. They're the same picture. This will make you cry seems to be the main thing here. The main reason that 1.8 million people are following Mr. Calvin. I really like you. That's cute. Oh, he doesn't like me. Oh, okay. Well, that, there's not much there. That just happens all the time. It's okay. <laughs> there's plenty of fish in the sea. Kudos to you to like, you know, confessing, confessing that you like someone. That's difficult. There's no resolutions to these. These are just like that face when he breaks up with you. <laughs> and then it's like a tear rolling down your cheek. POV, you were invisible. Her favorite color is red. I dressed in red. I painted in red. I dyed my hair red. <laughs> One of these is not like the other. She still never noticed me. I was painting in red. Also, maybe she was avoiding you because, you know, just because something's your favorite color doesn't mean that you change everything in your life to that color. If you were dressing in red, you dyed your hair red. You're like fucking Ronald McDonald. <laughs> what are you like? And you're painting in red? That's too much red. And she still never noticed me. So I lay in a pool. Oh my God, what? So, sorry. I wasn't expecting that. Are you okay? Like, honestly, are you? Just know people do care and we appreciate you being here. And he says, yes, I'm okay. I just post this content for people to relate. And I'm like, I don't know if we should be relating to this, Calvin. This is, I don't know. Maybe we should not be related relating to this. There's help out there, by the way, for anyone who is struggling and you're not alone, okay? Just so we're clear. And I know Calvin's doing this for content and that's why I think it's kind of weird. POV, you're the funny friend. Okay, <laughs> okay, you know, huh? I might relate to this one. Okay, so how does Moses make tea? How? He brews, he brews tea. He brews, he brews. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Nah, not really funny. <laughs> oh no, tough crowd. Hey mom, did you see my results? Your brother got full A's. Wait, so now he's not the funny friend anymore. He's just, dude, this is a pretty dark spiral after one, one bombed joke. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. He's not good. He's not good. Why don't I have anyone to talk to? Tell us another, yeah, just try another joke. Just try another joke, Calvin. Maybe they weren't brushed up on their Bible. I don't have any today. You did, no, Calvin. Calvin, you, just try a different joke, man. It's okay, you, you win some, you lose some, dude. Tough crowd, you know, find a new crowd. Dude, imagine, yeah, dude, that, they're pretty savage though, to see Calvin crying and they're like, tell us another joke, Calvin. You're the funny friend and that's all you do. I gotta say, I relate to this 100%. This is mostly my life story. You know, growing up was pretty hard, I asked, somebody what drink is bitter and sweet and they said what and i said reality and <laughs> they said another tea joke this is as bad as your moses one uh they made fun of me and and it started a dark spiral that ruined the rest of my life i never really lived that down so i i can kind of see why it's affecting calvin so much pov you weren't the one all right priest do you take this woman to be your wife her new boyfriend I do. Priest, do you take this man to be your husband? <laughs> Ex-girlfriend, I do. <laughs> it's again with the hair. I just... <laughs> okay, yeah, no. How do you do your hair? It's so nice, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I know they're talking about his regular hair, but... Priest, 
Any objections? Me. He doesn't, he's not saying anything. He's just, he's just moving his mouth. He's, he's, it's kind of like a sim, you know, where like he's moving his mouth, but not really, no real words are coming out. Oh, okay. Okay. It's, it's, uh, you know, he's saying she lives in daydreams with me, which is the Harry Styles song. She's my love, which is what's playing in the background here that you can't hear because I don't want to get demonetized. I got to be honest, Calvin, keep it to yourself. <laughs> you can't. First of all, your ex-girlfriend invited you to this wedding, I presume, unless you know the new boyfriend, but you got to keep it together, man. You're at the wedding. This is inappropriate. I'm sorry. Doesn't matter how much of a banger this Harry Styles song is. You really got to, you really got to rein it in because you're going to ruin their moment. You're making their moment about you, Calvin. <laughs> you got to tone it down. Don't ask for objections. This is, we don't do that anymore. It's 2022. At no wedding is anybody like, Hey, I know we just, spent a lot of money and rounded everybody up here. But does anyone want to ruin the moment? Is there anyone who would like to ruin the moment? I don't know why that was ever a thing to begin with. Keep it to yourself. POV, you're a boy. Did you paint your nails? Yeah, I like them. Only girls do that. Yeah, you're right. No. Did you ask her out? I can't. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. You're crying. He's such a beach. <laughs> He's such a beachy. Teacher, I need a strong boy to help. Puts hands up. She said strong boy, LOL. Okay. Also the teacher, that is a weird, that is a weird thing to ask. Uh, class, I need a strong boy to help me. Are there any strong boys in the class today? <laughs> me realizing that if she was the one, she wouldn't have given up this easily. True. You know? That's, that's great. That's a great realization, Calvin. Also, do you think his cheeks are always this rosy? Looks like a Pikachu in the best way. <laughs> it's cool. Robert, sing the song or the person that loves you most dies. Okay. Uh, first of all, what song? <laughs> what, what song do you want me to sing? And why do you care about it so much <laughs> that you would want to hurt someone? But I'll sing it. Just, just tell me the song, Mr. Robert. Okay. And then he's just vibing. He's not singing the song. Why aren't you singing? I'm serious. Because even if I don't sing, no one dies. Nobody loves me. Fuck, dude. That's sad. Find me a more emotional video. Leave it to Calvin. He really hypes himself up a lot, which is great. You know, we love the self-confidence. These are the most emo POVs. Her new boyfriend. I got you something here. A book. Ah, thanks. <laughs> Knowing she can't read? Find me a more emotional video. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my God. The POV is you're the ex-boyfriend watching your girlfriend receive a book as a gift from her new boyfriend, which is sad because you know that she can't even read. <laughs> he doesn't even know her like I do. He doesn't even know her literacy, dude. It hurts so much. Oh God, oh God. Her new boyfriend waiting in line to buy her a book. <laughs> what is this? Wait, me knowing she doesn't know how to read. <laughs> this guy, he has a very specific type. POV, you found out they were seeing someone else. Thanks for last night. Where were you last night? At my mom's? Don't lie to me, huh? Then what is this? <laughs> There's no phone in there. Why the fuck are you on my phone? <laughs> What am I meant to tell everyone if we break up? Tell them. Oh God, it's always a leads into a song. You tell them something about whatever the song plays. Her new boyfriend, you're skinny. I can barely fit my hands around you. Me remembering how I used to get her to eat. Okay, okay, all right. Calvin, you make too many of these POVs about eating disorders and stuff. And you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to cut it out, my guy. You're gonna have to cut it out. I don't know who this is for, but don't do it. Just don't. Yeah, there's just too many of these. Up, uh, up. Uh, wait a second. Her new boyfriend waiting in line to buy her an award-winning book. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's never not funny. It's never not funny. Wait, is he mouthing she can't read? She can't read. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough of Calvin. You gotta tone it down, my guy. I don't think that some of these, you know, perspectives you should be weighing in on. I, I don't know. It's a little, uh, you gotta carry some of these topics with a bit more tact. I get it. You're 21. You're famous on TikTok. Well, some of this shit, man, some of this shit is too much. And, uh, that's what I'll say. Yeah. Too much domestic violence, too much eating disorder stuff. Uh, I know I'm not like trying to show those in this video, but viewer beware if you go 
if you go to his actual TikTok page. And Calvin, tone it down. You, you can probably make other stuff and it'll be just as popular. Okay, that's all I have. All right, stay gold, everybody.